Welcome back, everybody. You know, we depend on a lot of technology, and it has helped so many of us connect to friends and family during the pandemic. Many of us do rely on Zoom and FaceTime to do our jobs or to help do our jobs, which is how we're talking to our next guest, Dr. Sherry Ingraham. Good morning, Doc. You know, a lot of folks think it's just a muscular thing when you're leaning down, looking at a screen, but they don't realize that doing that may also cause some extra damage to your skin. I have to admit, I didn't know that either. Really? Really, you know, the skin on our neck is very similar to the skin on our eyelids. It's very, very thin. It's not like our facial skin. It doesn't have as thick of a dermis or as many oil glands, so it's not as resistant to the environment. So sun damage, smoking, pollution, hit it a lot harder. So you actually wanna get special products designed for the neck skin that'll stimulate collagen and really help prevent those lines. And studies are showing we're making more lines because we're all doing this all night long. We're looking down into our computers and we're creating more of these horizontal lines. So there is a chance that you can reverse these little wrinkles and lines now? You can, you know, and more and more people are asking because we're wearing masks and we're seeing our eyes and we're seeing our necks. We're really seeing that difference. Things you can do, SkinCeuticals and a lot of product lines are coming out with neck-specific products. I like products that have a lower strength of retinol. This is the newest SkinCeuticals product with this, the Tri-Neck Peptide Repair. It's tripeptide, so it's got peptides in it, but it also has retinol. And what that does is stimulate collagen, but gently. And these are products, again, that you could use around the delicate skin around your eye, but especially on your neck daily. And you want to always apply them, you know, in an upward fashion because you're really trying to get them into those areas of the neck. And I say do this at bedtime in the morning. Don't forget sunscreen on your neck. That is the best protection there is. You want to get a really good moisturizing sunscreen. I like La Roche-Posay. You can pick this up at the grocery store. It's a good moisturizing sunscreen. And again, you want to apply it in the morning to your face and your neck because your neck, when you're driving in the car, that long wave UV light is coming through that car window and getting your face and your neck. Now, you did mention retinol, but there are other ways, and that was one of the other ways that you could also help prevent it? Yes, there are products you can do. Now, Botox is great because when you make that E sign, when you bite down your teeth, you can see the platysma, this muscle, also has a unique impact on our necks because it pulls the skin. So in a lot of patients, we'll put a very light dose of Botox into the platysma to lighten its effect on pulling the skin so you can soften those lines. There's also some laser procedures. Really, the best laser procedure for the neck is something called all therapy, which is ultrasound-guided laser, which essentially works on the neck to build up collagen, works on the jawline to pull up the neckline, and you can really get that definition back. And that's something you can have performed at a dermatologist's office if you're noticing that you're getting more and more lines and that skin is getting crepier. And then one of my favorite easy things are these Coolabar little neck covers. You can order these online, they're not expensive. You can slip them over your head. You know, these aren't designed like a lot of those COVID covers you see people wearing. These are specifically to block UV light and you can just put them on before you get in the car. They're real lightweight before you get on a boat and just protect that delicate, thinner dermis skin that is so delicate. Great information, Dr. Sherry Ingraham. You've provided a lot of stuff because folks really did not realize that wrinkles on your neck can come from all of us doing the Zoom and, and, and everything. We appreciate your information this morning. <laughs> Don't yes, I'll be doing that for most of the day now. <laughs> Dr. Sherry Abraham, thank you so very much for joining us. Thank you.